Hi, I'm Jeannie Hobbs, and I am the benefit manager at Goodwin House. I've been with Goodwin House since 1997, uh, 24 years. I actually started in dining services, and uh, in on September 11th of 2001, I was working in the healthcare center. My job was to supervise the dining staff who worked in healthcare and assisted living. And thinking back about that day, it was just chaos. Um, there was a TV in the dining room that was always on. It was always on a news channel, and it was right outside of my office. And, you know, I'm looking over, and I see, oh, there's a plane that crashed into the World Trade Center. And I thought, how odd is that? Because the sky was clear blue, and how could a pilot not see the building? But I thought, that's unfortunate for New York, and I, I really didn't give it much thought. Then when the second tower was hit, that's when everybody started to gather around the TV and you heard a lot of gasps and, oh my goodness, what's going on? And at that point, I went to call my husband to say, hey, have you seen what's going on? And he hadn't, but um, I think someone on his team had been getting some messages, so they were finding out. My husband was working in, uh, at George Washington University at that time, and so when the Pentagon was hit, that's when I started to panic and tried to reach my husband again, and we couldn't get through. The cell phones were down, and I remember crying out, going, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, what's going on? And um, everybody was in panic mode. Uh, it was really hard to focus on keeping the uh, schedule of getting lunch ready for the residents, but we had to do it. And once we got through that, we all kind of took a breath, and I remember my boss at that time said, you know, let's go up to the roof and let's see what we can see, and of course, it was a clear view of the Pentagon and the smoke, and it was just really surreal. Um, it was very frightening. So it was time to go home, and I live in North. I lived in North Arlington at the time. I lived just north of the Pentagon. So uh, getting home was a challenge. There was nobody on the road. It was completely desolate, and I. This was probably around four or five o'clock on that night. Um, not one person was on the road, and I remember driving around thinking, "Am I going to get home?" <laughs> and what everybody must be thinking in their homes, because uh, it was just so unbelievable. Um, and that evening, our family got into the car and we drove across the Roosevelt Bridge uh, so we could see the Pentagon, and just because we were curious. Um, it was just so unbelievable. So, um, and I wanted to share a couple of things. So Friday, that week of, uh, on Friday, I believe it was the day of the funerals, and, or the beginning of the funerals, and I had this pin. I actually purchased it probably a year or two before, just because I like craft shows. And this, I wore this pin that Friday. And all of the staff commented they really liked it. So I went to the color copier and I made copies of it. And I cut it out and I gave it to anybody who wanted one. And they, they would tape it to their badge, uh, just as a sign of solidarity, you know, Everybody, everybody really, really came together at that time. And even um, residents, uh, residents made things for the staff. I don't remember if we purchased them or if they gave them to us, I really don't remember that. But these very dirty earrings uh, made with beads by one of the residents. And so a lot of the staff were wearing these things as well at that time. It was, it was an amazing time. We all came together. Um, It'll be something that will never be uh, far from my memory. I, I know for Goodwin House, we are, I think we're much closer. I think we, a lot of us bonded on that day. As a, as a community in the United States, I think there was a lot of good that came after that. I attended some uh, memorial services afterwards and on the one year anniversary, I had attended something that was taking place at Iwo Jima, and you really felt that people were coming together. But I think after all these years have passed, I think that there's complacency. I think that people have, uh, I don't know that we've come together quite as well. Let's put it that way. I think we always have opportunity, and I'd hate for another event to happen to bring us back together again. I mean, everybody felt a lot closer. We felt 
that we were truly family. Um, and this was my fourth year of working here. There already was that feeling, but this just made it a lot stronger. Um, people were hugging. Uh, people wore the pin that I made for a, like a year, for a long time. People were wearing that, and even with me, like, it was like we just wanted to remember that and keep it uh, sacred. 